Hey folks, Steve Lewis and Caleb Daigle. Welcome hey. to Relevance for Today. We got Caleb down in the studio today, and we've got a great message for you folks. Stay tuned. It's going to be pretty good. Okay, folks, so thanks for tuning in as always. Relevance for Today podcast show. We've got Caleb in the studio. Welcome back, Caleb. Hey, how's everybody doing? Yes all over the world god right. bless you all wherever you're at blessings to you all so caleb and i are getting together and uh what we did is we talked about doing some favorite verses but this time we talked about doing some verses that relate to 2021 what's going on in life some encouragement some uplifting some awareness and so we're going to jump right in but before we do caleb how have you been man yeah, I've been really good. Just digging deep in the word and staying focused. Nice and what growing about that you? beard. Growing yeah, that growing nice beard, beard yeah, with the man. beard oils. Yes, it's got the beard, <laughs> the beard growing oils. on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Things are going pretty good. Can't complain. Thanks yeah. for asking. Just hey, reaching the people. That's right. Through the word of God. Through the word of God. All right. So we're gonna jump in, Caleb. You've got the first verse, my man. Yeah. So. This first verse, um, as I was just allowing the Holy Spirit to kind of guide me, um, the first topic that I really felt the need to get a verse is selfishness. Mm. Um, in this world today, you know, it's a lot of talk about self-care, self-love, which don't get me wrong, that stuff, yes, that's needed, you know, but if you get too deep into that stuff, that selfishness is what really messes everything up. Mm. You know, we get lost in our own selves mm. rather than staying connected to the creator. So this first verse, it's found in Proverbs chapter 28, verse 2. Nice. And it says, when there is moral rot within a nation, its government topples easily. But wise and knowledgeable leaders bring stability. Mm. So if you're focused on yourself, yep. especially if, if one person is, you know, that moral rot, it rots, right? Yeah. So it, it, it's a complete flip-flop. So if you use wise and knowledgeable um, counsel from God, from the Word of God, mm -hmm. you're going to have stability in your life, That's right? That's good. Yeah. So this world... Today, in 2021, we see how this moral rot mm. has been lifted up. You know, yeah. all this evil stuff has been lifted up. Yeah. And that isn't keeping the world stable. That's right. Right? We need something that is wise, knowledgeable, and who better else than God and That's the Word right. of God. Right? That's right. And then the younger ones, especially, I mean, even it doesn't matter your age, sorry, it doesn't matter your age, but if you grow in the word of God, mm -hmm. you seek his wisdom, you seek his knowledge, like this proverb says, wise and knowledgeable leaders bring stability. Yes. So if you want to make change, you read the word, you study the word, mm -hmm. then that knowledge and that wisdom will be seeped into you. It steeps into your heart, into your spirit. Yes. And that brings that stability in turn so that if someone is being selfish, but you know that's against the word of God, you can correct them. Yeah, in a loving know? way. In a loving way, in a selfless way, yes. right? Allow the Holy Spirit and God to speak through you. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. No, that's good. That is really good, you know, because the morals of people, people's morals are just going in a totally different direction. Right. You know, what's right is wrong and what's wrong is right. Right. And uh, like you said, that was a good one. It's about it's, me, 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 you know? Yeah, me, that's, myself, and I. That's not what it's supposed to be about. Yeah, so I've got one here, Colossians chapter 3, verse 2, and it goes right along with Caleb's. And the neat part is we never collaborated and said, hey, what verses are you using? I'm going to use these verses. And it's a really important thing because it shows you the power of the Holy Spirit. Right. Because when you ask Jesus Christ into your life, the Holy Spirit does dwell within you. Right. And so it's the same Holy Spirit. I was just about to say that, yes. too. Yeah, it's the same. It's, it's the Jesus same. speaking through all of us. That's and, right. And, you know, like it, we speak differently. We act differently, mm -hmm. right? Because God admires our uniqueness, right? Yes. He wants us to flow in our uniqueness. He's on a roll. But the Holy Spirit is the same. Like yes. Steve said, it's the same within us. That's right. So even if we're speaking differently, acting differently, that message 
should be connected. Yes. And you can tell if it's not connected, right? That's right. Because if we came in here and I had something that was completely that's off right. of what you said, then we know then that's not the Holy Spirit who was talking through me. It right. was, it, it must have been us, myself. Right. Us, us cranking out a, a passage, right. us cranking out another podcast. But what happens is, as I saw his verses and saw my verses, we were able to put them in order of how we wanted them for the show. And so we're coming to you out of love, of course, but sharing these verses in hopes that it'll encourage you as well. So Colossians 3.2 is the one I picked here. It says, think about the things of heaven, not the things of earth. So focus on our heavenly father, focus on Jesus, focus on the Holy Spirit, focus on the things of God, the godly things and not the things of this earth. Leave the news off, you folks. You know, I've been saying it for a long time. In fact, Caleb and I did a couple podcasts where we talked about that as well. Keeping the news off. Yeah. Keep the negativity out of your head. Yeah. Stay morally sound. Stay yeah. focused. Don't be like the world, especially if you're a follower of Jesus Christ. Do not be like the world. People need to see you and say there's something different about that person. Yeah. What is that person doing? It reminds me of my son. He, uh, <laughs> he's been helping Pastor Joseph overseas and uh, we helped Pastor Joseph and his people in the Philippines. And he started getting involved and he works at a car dealership. And somebody said, how are you getting all these sales, man? What's up with that? And he goes, hey, man, I help people over in the third world country. And he started laughing, but it's the truth. Don't focus on the things of the world. Focus on the things of heaven and right. bless others. And you'll see how God will bless you in return. It doesn't have to come in the form of money or anything like that. It could be in the form of being able to sit here on a podcast and share yep. a message. It could be in the form of the fact that we have the entire Bible that we can read. and We have the courtesy and we have the freedom to read this anywhere we want in public in our privacy of our home or wherever. But that's, think about the things of heaven, not the things of this earth. Yeah, and that's gonna keep us stable. Yes, right? stability. That's, that's the thing, that's our, the yes. rock, right? That's right, the foundation. The foundation, yeah. So, the next topic, or the next word really is, the Holy Spirit laid on my heart was bitterness. Mm. There's a lot of bitterness, which comes from that moral rot, Yeah. you know? Things of this earth. Things of this earth, yeah. So. The verse is found in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 15, mm -hmm. and it says, look after each other so that none of you fails to receive the grace of God. Watch out that no poisonous root of bitterness grows up to trouble you, corrupting many. So the key part I, I find in this is that the bitterness that grows to trouble you mm -hmm. is going to not only corrupt you, mm. but it's going to corrupt many. Yes. You know, and you see that. I mean, you see it. Yeah. There's, in anyone, wow. everyone's lives, you know, if there's a bitterness in somebody's heart, mm -hmm. it hardens their heart. And in turn, that connects to their loved ones because they take out all that yes. on their loved ones. Yes. And so that stress and that, that bitterness, you know, that weighs heavy on the person that they're taking it out on. Mm. But it's just, it's the same thing with uh, when you read about sin in the Bible. Yeah. It, it doesn't matter if it was your grandparents' sin. That all trickles down. It, and it, you might not live in it, but the effects of that trickle down. And so with bitterness, that trickling of bitterness you know you have just like it says look after each other mm. so that none of you fails to receive the grace of god because god wants the great his grace to just wash over us yes that's what he wants he doesn't want us to live in bitterness and unforgiveness mm -hmm. right because that person who ever is affected or affected your life that made you bitter or have unforgiveness there might they might not even be thinking of that right now mm. so we have a world that's filled with that, you know? Yeah, yeah, So it's true. And God doesn't want that. He wants He wants love and peace and joy. You know, he wants all that to just wash over us. Mm -hmm. So we need to look out for each other, you know? Sometimes it's not that person's responsibility. It is, but at the same time, we need to look out for each other. Yes. You know, wake each other up. Help them rise up to the occasion to show them that God's grace is a lot better than holding on to that bitterness. Mm -hmm. 
that yeah. moral rot. It's rotting your body. It's rotting your mind. The stress. It's just yes, everything about you. it. Yeah. Even those people around you. Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 you know, that's a good one. I really like that one because, like you said, when it says look after each other so that none of you fails to receive the grace of God. So you look out for each other. Hey, man, don't let that eat you up so much because it's turning hatred in your heart right. and it's poison. And, and you all know people like this. I'm glad Caleb picked this one because somebody will hate somebody. And then the next thing you know, whoever's around them, whether it's your own children, will also pick up that yeah. hatred and that bitterness towards whoever it is. And it just festers up and it becomes like a mess. Right. And then one day someone will say, why don't you guys speak to the, that family over there? Oh, because my great, great grandfather had an argument over something years ago and they passed it down from year to year to year. And it's a mess. And that bitterness right. just eats and grows and yep. festers. And so that's what it's all about. The enemy uses bitterness right. and to, to destroy. To, to add something to that, it's mm -hmm. like talking about like the generation and yes. you know, the going down step Passing by step by down. step. But, yep. you, but in reality, if you think about that, you know, if that bitterness gets transferred, that poisonous root mm -hmm. grows and then to the point where you get to, you know, your great grandchildren, yeah. they still have that bitterness and they don't even realize what for. Exactly. They just they just think it's because well something happened. Yeah. I don't know. What, I don't know. We're supposed to hate it's just, them. Yeah, we're supposed to hate them. Well, yeah. no, you're supposed to love everybody. Yeah. Supposed yeah. to love them. Love the person, hate the sin. If you're a follower of Jesus Christ, never forget that. Whoever you're looking at and you've got bitterness, remember God created that individual. Yep. Boom. Okay, so Romans eight five is the next one. And here it is, Romans 8, 5, New Living Translation. Those who are dominated by the sinful nature think about sinful things. Back to the moral rot again. But those who are controlled by the Holy Spirit think about the things that please the Spirit. Amen. The love, the joy, the peace. And I won't go too far ahead of that because I've got another verse to share after that. But the point in this one, which also goes with Caleb's verse, if you're dominated by that sinful nature, the, the sinful nature of hate, the sinful nature of you just want to be bitter at everyone and anger and hatred, it just eats and gnaws at you and you'll just continue to think about those things. Yeah. We've all been there. Somebody's rubbed you the wrong way. You literally felt like, oh my gosh, I hate Caleb Daigle. <laughs> and that's all you think about. You can't get him out of your mind. Yeah. You look over, you see him, he's laughing and smiling, having a blast with the Daigle family, his family, and I'm across the street staring at him watering my garden going oh you know yeah and it's eating me up but when you sit back and say lord please forgive me for for hating on him i need to go over there and tell caleb caleb you know you really upset me when you did this this and this and caleb's like i never realized i did that to you right because cool, that person might not even realize <laughs> exactly that person might not even realize yep it, you, you took know? my shopping cart when i was at walmart and you knew that was mine i just cleaned it off <laughs> bam you had no clue. You were looking the other way. Yeah. And, uh, but yeah, so you think about, you get, when you're controlled by the Holy Spirit, it's immediately, hey, man, that was my cart. Oh, shoot, my bad, Steve. Yeah. And I mean, a shopping cart, basic. But I just wanted to share that as an example. But yeah. being dominated by the sinful nature, if it's not in love and peace and joy, be careful. Right. Stay yeah. focused on the things above, not on the things of this earth. So that's a good verse that goes with that. Yeah. Um, so another topic that's, I mean, especially for this world today is mm. fear. So it's found in chapter one of Second Timothy. So Second Timothy chapter one, uh, verses six through seven. And it says, this is why I remind you to fan into flames the spiritual gift God gave you mm. when I laid my hands on you. For God has not given us a spirit of fear and timidity, but of power, love, and self-discipline. Mm. So putting this into context, Paul is writing to Timothy yes. about that he's going to face some, some tough times. Mm -hmm. um, but if we allow God to flow through us. Yes, allow that right? Holy Spirit to flow through you. And so this verse right here 
it really reminds me of an Old Testament prophet, Jeremiah, mm. you know? Uh, so God, ha repeating this verse, verse seven, God has not given us a fear of timidity, but of power, love, and self-discipline. So in Jeremiah, Jeremiah, he prophesied for 40 years. <laughs> All right, let me just do the back That's story. A long time. 40 yeah. years, this guy said the same message mm. in different wording to the tribe of Judah about how Babylon, because of Judah's sin, God is going to allow Babylon to come in and just take everybody out, destroy everything because they weren't listening, they weren't repenting. So Jeremiah, I mean, Judah hated him, but Jeremiah, this guy for 40 years repeated himself, repeated God's message mm. over faithful. and over. I mean, he would go up to the king, the king of Judah. I mean, imagine going up to the president and saying, this is what God says. Something's about to go down, and if you don't turn and <laughs> repent, yeah, we're all going down. Yeah, repent or perish. And then imagine the president not listening mm. and sending people to try to kill you. Oh, again, all that hatred. I mean, no one liked him. Mm. Could you imagine if he said, bow down to that fear? Jeremiah was like, I'm done. I can't do this anymore. Like, I, I, I fear for my life. Mm. You know, is this, is this truly... Am I truly doing something here? But he didn't think about that. He stayed focused on what God's plan was for him. Yes. And he had the power. He flowed in love and he flowed in self-discipline because mm -hmm. he had to keep that. He had to keep himself in check because I know, and you probably say the same thing, f saying the same message in different words for 40 years yep. and no one listens to you. Yeah. That takes some spirit of love power self-discipline it takes self -discipline, the spirit of god just like noah yeah 120 years right. almost. building a boat <laughs> building a boat on, arguing a with people every day yeah. no fear yeah no, but that's that's good and especially right now in this world mm -hmm. everything everything is pushed by fear yes to get everybody to accept or kind of be conform conform right conform yep. to what the bigger agenda is but you know what the bigger agenda truly is is that god is still in control yes and that god can take care of you and really truly elevate mm -hmm. you to a point where fear doesn't grip you anymore yeah that's good and you focus on power love and self-discipline self and once again focus on the things above and not on the things below, below. on this earth yeah. Yeah. For not real. the natural things, but focus on the spiritual things. Yep, that's right. Yeah. Know who you are in Christ, if you're a follower of Jesus Christ. And if you're not, let us know. We'll uh, got lots of podcasts about uh, sharing the gospel and so forth. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that was a really good one. Really important, especially 2021. We need to walk and have courage, have yeah. faith in the Lord. And so when it comes to pleasing the spirit, so this is really good. Um, because earlier in one of my verses, I shared uh, Romans 8, 5. I had said, those who are dominated by the sinful nature think about sinful things, but those who are controlled by the Holy Spirit think about things that please the Spirit. So this is key. So what pleases the Spirit? Showing love to others, being joyful, having peace and sharing peace with others, being patient even in the tough times, showing kindness to others, being good to others, being faithful to the Lord, showing gentleness to others, and having self-control, which of course leads to my last verse and our last verse, Galatians 5, and 23 out of the New Living Translation says, but the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And so that is so important. And everything we shared today, everything we talked about today, being selfish, you know, having fear, having bitterness, you can apply this passage out of Galatians that Paul wrote and cover all these things and use the fruit of the Holy Spirit that should be within us. Let that out. Let that love out. Let that joy out. Let that kindness out and that yep. goodness faithfulness in the word of God and so forth. And so we wanted to share these verses with you today because 
Hey, we're living in a day where people need encouraged. I think yeah. encouragement is one of the biggest things that needs to be spread besides the word about Jesus Christ, him crucified and raised from the dead, seated at the right hand of the Father. But encouragement, people need encouraged. You know, right now with everything going on, right now with all the evil going on, yeah. with all the self-destructive behavior going on, yeah. right now we need the Lord, right now we need the peace of the Holy Spirit within us. And we need to show others that peace and give yep. them comfort. Yeah. So anything else you want to add to that, Caleb, before I pray? No, no. No, that was that good. That was all good. Yeah. That yeah. was really good. Very good. Very encouraging. Yep. And also we want to encourage you folks, as you saw, um, with the verses that I put up on the screen, you can go back, rewind the episodes. Uh, if you're watching it, that is. If you're listening to it, we still want to encourage you to go back, write down those verses if you haven't already, and make sure you read the entire passages of Scripture to help uh, further educate you as well on the Word of God. Yeah. And we're doing the same thing on our end. Remember, one finger pointed at you, three pointing back at me. So with that being said, let's go ahead and pray. So Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this opportunity to just bring this message to the table. We thank you for how everything collaborated together between me and Caleb as we shared these verses. Our hope and prayer, more or less our prayer to you, Lord, is that people are reached and touched in a way that they've been sitting in bitterness, they've been sitting in selfishness, they've been sitting in fear, are going to be able to turn to your word, read these passages for themselves, get it in their heart, in their spirit, man, and be able to learn from that and to be able to walk in victory. Mm -hmm. So, Lord, we pray for all those out there that are hurting and suffering right now, that others will come alongside them to help lift them up to where you call them to be. Pray for all our listeners and our watchers, and we thank you so much for the opportunity to share this message across the airways and across people's screens. We thank you, thank you, thank you for all that you do for us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray these things. Amen. Amen. Hey, good job, Caleb. Hey, thank you. Yes, good having you on the show. We'll yes. definitely have to collaborate again sometime. Yes. So, hey, folks, thanks for tuning in. Share this with someone that you really think needs it, and even someone you don't. Let's get yeah. this spread around. Hey, it's free. Share it. You know what I mean? With that being said, hey, shout out to Stable Landing Clothing. Check them out, folks. They've got some great gear. Christian clothing. Instead of wearing a basketball team's clothes, which is nothing wrong with that. But, hey, you know what? Why not wear something that talks about the Lord? Putting on the whole armor of God. Amen. So with that being said, hey, love you all. Take care of yourselves. Get in contact with us. You got everything at the bottom of the screen. Stay connected. God bless you all. Take care of yourselves. Love you. Peace. Peace.